Hello out there, and get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Joined by Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Kyle Lowry. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other... And looking at how these two teams play, it should be a physical one tonight, Grant, particularly on the glass. Yeah, bring your hard hat. <laughs> this is going to be a physical game indeed. Both sides are used to generating extra possessions with their rebounding. So I'm curious to see which club wins that battle. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Bam Adebayo is out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Lowry. In at the point. And here's Hardaway. Puts up a three. Nails it from beyond the arc. The first good move in a long chess match between these coaching staffs. Strategy is going to be a big part of the outcome tonight. We'll see which team dictates the style of play. Well, an all-star appearance for Bam Adebayo in 2020. Fred, you think he can get back there? No doubt. I mean, I think the bigger issue is we've seen his numbers taper off just in the postseason. Can he reverse that and bring his best when it matters most? And he knocks down the first one. Bam Adebayo gives his team so much flexibility, playing multiple positions and doing whatever the team asks. Oladipo is checked in for Miami. And Smithy, how about Bam Adebayo? He really diversifies this team offensively. He does, B.A. He's a consistent scorer, and he spears on the defensive end, guarding smaller guys. Doncic with it. Hero picks him up. Hardaway, no good. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Hero, no good. Dallas has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Jacks up a three. The Mavericks rebound. Here's Wood, and Butler with the block. Beautiful anticipation by Jimmy Butler. He sees the shot, and he's right there to block it. Oladipo, the pass to Adebayo. Here's Martin. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's Hardaway. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Trust Doncic to make smart moves with the ball. He puts it in the hands of a guy with a wide-open shot. Adebayo. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. From the arc. And it's Miami with a rebound. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one bad. Pass to Adebayo. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. The Mavericks have gone two of six to open up this game. Doncic with it. Hero picks him up. The three, Hardaway buries it from three. Hardaway's got his third basket on the night right there. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Now Hero. Last game out, we saw him score 42. And out of bounds, Dallas will have it. And these shooting guards have been great at the line. Second, Tyler Hero. This is a group with the ability to drive looking for contact. Because they all know they'll convert at the free throw line. Give them all credit for the work they put in to become such great free throw shooters. Trust me, it takes a lot of work to shoot those kinds of percentages. Bertans checked in for Martin. And here's Doncic outside. And Hero grabs the board. Miami's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. That's so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. 
they've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. With some arc. They shoot again. And the layup is good. Well, it wasn't a pretty start for him, but now he's got a bucket to build on. Oladipo against Hardaway. And a deep three from the Tons. And again, the Heat missing. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to Hardaway. Now Powell. He's guarded by Hero. Shot clock at three. And Powell. With the stuff. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Right side, Butler. Driving to the basket, and stolen by Wood. Hardaway on the wing. Give him eight points now. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Hero against Doncic. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic! Oh, it's stolen by Oladipo! One eleven left in the first quarter of the game. Outside Bertans. Right side Butler. Over Finney Smith. Again, the Heat misses. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Hardaway with it. Now Oladipo defending. Launches it. Hardaway, no good. Two for one opportunity if they can time it right. Great way to end the quarter. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. A dangerous pick-and-roll partner. Adebayo's a high-level athlete with great size. Outside Hardaway. Dallas again missing. For Miami, they've gone only three for nine from the floor. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Butler passes to Adebayo. How with a steal! It's Doncic with a drive over Butler, and it's Doncic missing. Here's Hero. Here's Bertans. Encouraging to see Doncic hustle like this on defense, wanting to make an impact in doing just this. as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? Defensively, their gambles are paying off, jumping passing lanes and pressuring ball handlers. And you can't cause those mistakes unless you're willing to gamble. So far, they've rolled the dice, and it's paid off. Setting the floor for the Heat. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Davis Bertans is out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Oladipo in at the one. Adebayo, a screen on Dinwiddie. Back to Oladipo. Takes a three. And they get it back. Hero finds Butler. No good from outside. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Knocks down the triple. Dinwiddie's got five points in the quarter. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Quarter number two and about a minute in. Oladipo, the pass to Adebayo. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Spitty, it can be pretty impressive to watch this Miami squad go to work on the offensive end. Yes, B.A., the reason why they have a bunch of talented shooters, that's for certain. But they also pay attention to the little things, like grabbing offensive boards and moving the ball around. Bam Adebayo has been fairly solid from the line throughout his career. And Smitty, every year we see a few teams start out better than expected, 
then they regress. That's because the surprise factor wears off. Teams adjust, and the season is so long, and they're not overlooking you anymore. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Mavericks. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler's focus is all on team success. In fact, his agent said whenever he calls Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like All-NBA Team, for example, Jimmy hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Brian for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. Yeah, he's a rare breed, Allie, for sure. Thanks for that. And the shot goes. Dinwiddie's got eight points here in the quarter. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. And he's going for the up here. And finished off by Adebayo. Good job to stay patient and let the play develop. Lowry is very strong in that regard. Here's Dinwiddie. Give him eight. He shoots. Offensive board. To the right side. Pass to Kleba. The three. The Mavericks rebound. Here's McGee. And finally, that one's good. McGee's gotten his first points in this one. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Adebayo is screen on Robinson. Struce the pass to Adebayo. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. The emergence of Autobio as a scorer, this franchise has to be ecstatic. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Powell, he's checked in for McGee. Wood comes in for Kleba. Finney Smith checked in for Bullock. And Doncic has subbed in for Robinson. Fades and shoots. And the shot goes down. Doncic has gotten his second bucket of the game. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. And he lobs it up. He can't get it to go. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. I'll tell you what, once things started to go downhill, their performance plummeted. It wound up getting pretty ugly. I was surprised they put up so little fight. That was not the team I expected to see that night. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Yeah, and Christian Woods moving here to the Mavs over the summer. Now, the Mavs knew they wanted more size, so they sent a number of players in exchange, but they got a deadly weapon to help them this season. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside Struess. Just five on the clock. Pass to Adebayo. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on to White Powell. And Grant, no team better than Miami in developing undrafted prospects. I mean, for key goals, too. You look at last year's playoffs. Struess, Martin, Vincent, Robinson. It's allowed Miami to stay on top in a salary cap-driven lead. Hardaway's checked in for Dinwiddie. Trying their best to catch up. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. Lowry against Doncic. Outside Finney Smith. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Jovic. Miami trailing. Adebayo passes to Martin. Adebayo in the post. Guarded by Doncic. Adebayo, no good. The Mavericks have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. And Kyle Lowry is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. The second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Butler's checked in for Miami. Vincent comes in for Lowry. Adebayo against Powell. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. On the break. And a nice finish on the layup. A joy to watch Butler with his ball handling. A lot of creativity. He's one of the most gifted players in the game. And it's Doncic on the drive over Butler. 
Dallas no good that time either. And the truth is, this lead would have been much bigger had he shot better. Pass to Jovic. Back to Butler. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. The physical abilities of Jimmy Butler. Wow. Using his power and speed to make plays inside. And his Doncic outside. It's hauled in by the Heat. And the first season matchup for them against the Mavericks this year. And last year's games were interesting to watch, considering that each team came out with a win against the other. This is going to be a fun first game between these two squads. Buckle up. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tim Hardaway. That's his first foul. Geert Sevens checked in four out of Io. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Jovic. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Now just a one-point Maverick lead. That's three buckets in a row off assist. At the line for Dallas, Luka Doncic. That's good for Doncic. And when we talk about franchise players, guys who can carry a team, Luka Doncic is one of the few guys in that category. Good on both. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Now here's Hero. The three. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Mavericks on top. They lead by three. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. Greetings all, halftime is upon us and an entertaining game with the Dallas Mavericks battling away. You look at the play of their bench, this second unit is doing exactly what the coach is looking for. It's a luxury to have this kind of support. I mean, I know we talk about team depth all the time, but that's been the difference tonight. Let's turn our attention to the dunk contest and see who's competing for a spot this year. You look at the explosiveness in this field. These guys put up highlights on a nightly basis. And they love to top one another, whether it's in games or in this contest. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. It's been a clinic out there by Bam Adebayo. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Doncic and Hardaway Jr. man the backcourt. Christian Wood out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Powell in at the five. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Here's Doncic. Can't hit that one. Ooh, some solid defense from Oladipo. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league. And that shows up most with his passing and body control. And Adebayo slams it in. Nice work in there by Adebayo. He sets a physical tone for this team. Hardaway against Hero. Wood outside. The three-pointer off the mark. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. Here's Hardaway. Out to Wood. Here's the three. Nails it from three. And the Mavericks lead by four. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. Adebayo sets a screen. Oladipo, the pass to Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. 
doesn't get any higher percentage than this. Otto Bio is ferocious when he gets it in close. Hardaway against Hero. Fires the three. Rebounded by Bertans. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. This for the tie! And he hits it to tie the game. Adebayo's got six in the quarter. Some shooters get tunnel vision, but Tyler keeping his eyes up and his options open delivers a great pass. And Wood with the stuff. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And there's Bertans on the assist by Hero. Hero's got four assists now tonight. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. From deep, here's Doncic. Sinks the tray. Doncic has got 11. Using that change of pace off the dribble, Doncic gets the shots he wants. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. Post hit goes. And it's a five-point Dallas lead. Well, Smitty, recently it seems like mid-range shooting is making something of a comeback. Four guys taking shots from that area. And BA, I am so happy. There's nothing wrong with the mid-range game. Some stars have proven it's a viable method. Even in the three-point focus, modern game, and for the moment, defenses aren't always prepared to deal with it. And they doubled up Doncic. Inside, deflects the pass. Oh, it's stolen by Oladipo. Outside for Butler. The three is up. Mavericks with a rebound. Kyle's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Hardaway. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Nice shot by Finney Smith. Their defensive effort is certainly lacking since halftime. They need to wake up. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Oladipo with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Adebayo sets a screen. Fire. High post. Hero outside. Five on the clock. Bertans for three. The Mavericks pull it in. Powell's got six rebounds now in the game. The Mavericks leading. This Mavericks team, Grant, they're loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. Now a timeout called by Miami. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys would be sure to use this timeout wisely. A different look for Dallas. Kleba, he's checked in for Powell. Robinson comes in for Finney Smith. And it's Dinwiddie in for Luka Doncic. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, Miami is very efficient. Coach Spolster said, quote, you want to maximize your offense in all the different ways in your menu without feeling like you're taking turns. I don't think anyone would say that about our team. They're an unselfish group that likes sharing the ball, and they enjoy each other's success. Brian? Allie, thank you. Hardaway finds Dinwiddie. Back to Hardaway. Fires the three. Rebounded by Jovic. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. The shot by Butler. No good. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Robinson with it. Now Oladipo defending. Robinson finds some space. And it's Dallas scoring again. The Heat have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Here's Butler. He takes it in. Butler who slams it down. Explosiveness by Butler. Leaping way off the ground for that dunk. On the AT&T 5G slam cam. Good looks by our terrific camera crew. The three, Hardaway. The shot won't fall. At some point when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. 
Robinson against Oladipo to the inside. And stolen by Wood. And Wood with the stuff. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. So resourceful. When Oladipo's looking for any opening, he puts in a lot of effort on offense. Here's Hardaway. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Lowry outside. Here's seven of screen on Dinwiddie. Here's Lowry. He knocks it down. But wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. Well, we thought the third... The previous play is under review. Review the play. They're trying to see if he released the ball before the buzzer or not. Yeah, they're going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time, but I think it's going to count. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. That basket is good. It would and we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. The Mavericks on top, leading by three. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ballgame. Setting the floor for Miami. Lowry and Struess are the guards. Then there's Caleb Martin. Then there's a Marriott seven. To the middle. Here's Bullock. And the layup falls. And the Mavericks lead by five. I like that pass from Duncan Robinson, keeping his eyes up and his options open. Up top, Lowry. Mavericks with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Robinson passes to Kleba. It's good. Kleba's got this first bucket of the night. <laughs> They're fortunate to be leading after shooting below 40% in the first half. Martin outside. Back to Lowry. On the wing, Struess. Robinson with a steal. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Mavericks. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball. Quick hands causing a lot of steals. And we also got to talk about the number of points they've scored in transition. Just jumping all over the opposition in this regard. A different look for Dallas. Powell, he's checked in for Kleba. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Robinson. And Miami also making a switch. Heroes checked in. And Dallas calls time here. Robinson comes in for Bullock. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. He told them to be more careful about their selections, saying, quote, don't force it at the arc. If it's not a good look, don't risk it. Move the ball. Attack inside. Use your options. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Your seven, a screen on Kleba. Here's Jovic. Back to your seven. Not going to go that time. Great D that time from McGee. Here's Doncic, and Doncic with the jam. We've seen why Doncic is a perennial MVP candidate. He's taken over completely at the offensive end. Hero, the pass to Martin. Miami, no good that time either. The Mavericks have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Here's McGee, and McGee with the stop. Oh, nice one-handed jam. Hey, a little exclamation point. Hero with it. Started by Kleba. Can they get it? Pass to Jovic. Oh. 
said, he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. What's really helped Miami over the last few years, they've had some of the most accurate three-point shooters in the league. No good on that one. And the Heat's ability to stretch the floor, it's critical to their star success minute. It is. Guys like Butler and Bam Adebayo, they thrive when they have room to operate, B.A. It's an approach that continues to serve Miami well. And the Heat making a change here. Bam Adebayo's checked in for your seven. Butler comes in for Martin. Oladipo is checked in for Struess. And it's Lowry in for Hero. Finney Smith's shot is off. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. From deep, here's Doncic. No good there. And Miami will go the other way with it. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. That'll be the first of three games played at home. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, VA, you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there, too. Superstar status is not the cards for you. <laughs> Doncic shot is good. Here we go. His second day from beyond the arc in the second half after having no such luck in the first. Miami has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Here's Butler. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got his third assist of the night. Good defense right there. But Jimmy Butler very resourceful. Found a way. Doncic is doubled. Pass to Powell. Denied by Adebayo. Lowry against Doncic. Lowry the pass to Adebayo. And the basket is good. Adebayo's got 27 points. Bam is a pro at absorbing contact, especially when he's locked in on scoring. The three, Hardaway. Another three for Dallas. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Embracing the physical nature of the game, Butler loves getting contact while shooting. And the Heat making a change here. Heroes checked in. And Dallas calls time here. They lead by eight. 133 left in the fourth quarter. One thirty-three left to play in the fourth quarter. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Miami trailing. Pass to Butler. This one for three. Give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. Responsibility all on Jimmy Butler. He stepped up to the plate on that one. Doncic against Butler. Launches the three. And he recovers it. Now here's Hardaway. Off target with the three. At this point, I'm not sure if it's the play calling or the player himself. The play with purpose. Oladipo thriving under pressure and rising once again to the occasion. Catch it up top. Butler covering. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Three throws good. And that brings it within two here. A great competitor. Jimmy Butler is exactly who they want at the line. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity strike? This guy. Bertans against Dungeon. Whistle goes. Yep, that's going to be a travel. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, Turnover 
Bills can make the difference. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 17-6 run. Now here's Butler. Tight defense on him. Oh, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Time out, time out. calls time here. They trail by one. 29 seconds left in the game. Separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Doncic. Fires from deep. Dial grabs the board. They'll probably slow things down now. Turn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Defense, what defense? Jimmy Butler was determined to knock that one down. And looking to even the score with a huge three. This is where you want to run a play. Don't just walk it up and heave it. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. And the last. The previous play is under the lead. We'll see if it gets overturned, which would end the game, by the way. However, if ruled it still counts, we're headed to overtime. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And no, the basket will not count. This game is over. Oh, my. Talk about a heartbreaking loss. You just nailed the amazing buzzer beater, and then it's taken away. So it's the Heat taking the W at a close one. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. Now our New Balance Player of the Game, Bam Adebayo.
しない。